Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from GamePro News. I'm here with Lucas from Monolith and we're going to be talking about Gotham City Imposters, which is based in the Batman universe, but not actually featuring Batman, is that right? That's right. Uh, so we took the Batman universe uh, and we're Monolith Productions, we make, we make shooters, so you put it together. There's no other outcome except for Batman with guns, but obviously the real Batman doesn't like guns. So our story doesn't focus on that top level of the actual superhero or the supervillain of the Joker, but the people of Gotham City who look up to these two characters and basically want to be them. So they're dressing up as the Bat, they're dressing up as the Joker, they have no qualms about having guns and shooting each other. There are people who want to be the Joker, but he's the bad guy. Absolutely. There are people who love chaos, who love anarchy, who love putting on face paint and that green wig. There's something for everyone. So how does this actually work? It's a 6v6 multiplayer? That's right. It's a first-person shooter, multiplayer shooter, uh, totally digitally distributed. Uh, all of our game modes are team-based multiplayer, so it's always the bats versus the jokers. So can you switch sides uh, per game, or if you pick one, are you then stuck with that one? Oh, no, you can definitely switch sides on a game-by-game -game basis. So the obvious comparison here is it's, it's a relatively humorous team-based shooter, so people are going to think it's, it's very similar to Team Fortress 2. What do you think about that comparison? So one of the big differentiations with our game and something we're really excited about is the customization. We're packing a ton of content into our customization system, especially for a digitally released game. And our game is not class-based whatsoever. So anything you unlock as you're leveling up your imposter, you can make your loadouts however you want. So if you want to take the healing tool and you want the bazooka and you want the, the skinny body type, you can put all that together. It's completely up to the player how they want to make their class, their own class. We have no class. <laughs> That's a good line. You've done that one before too, haven't you? I might have done it once or twice. <laughs> what is the one thing that everybody needs to know about Gotham City Imposters? Uh, one of the greatest things that we're really excited about Gotham City Imposters is our mobility gadgets. This is bringing a lot of different uh, movement systems into a first-person shooter, we feel. So, for example, the grapple gun, you shoot it up at a surface, as long as it connects, you can reel yourself in so you can get up higher, you can go horizontally across the map faster. Or glider wings, you go over vents that are shooting up air, open your wings, go up, and then you can glide over, find some unsuspecting sucker, and dive bomb down onto him. We also have other things too, like roller skates and smoke bombs that make you invisible, things like that. So you guys did create fear. So is there any similarities between Alma's adventures and, and what we see here? Well, <laughs> that's an interesting question. I'll say this much. Fear is pretty out there. It's a little bit crazy. This game's even crazier. I mean, there's a lot of humor going on, a lot of wacky things. Obviously, all the imposters in our game, they're dressing up wannabe crazies who are shooting each other. So there's a lot of insanity going on, whether you're a bat or a joker. What is the one thing that you personally are most looking forward to about the game? Uh, I'm really excited about Batman with guns just happening all over the place, all over the world. Digitally uh, procured from people comfortable on their couch or in their armchair. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.